Hello everybody, my name is Shoshodas and welcome back to the channel. I'm finally back after, well, it's gotta have been two weeks since I last uploaded a video. We're back with a fantastic submarine build and now you might notice that this is covered in Mavlar and you don't have to worry, as long as you're at least level 95 you can build this out of literally anything else. You can use steel, you can use gold, you can even use black steel since black steel is much lighter than red steel now. Anyways, to get started with this tutorial, we're going to place down two spice planks. That's like the foundation of almost all of my tutorials. The holy spice planks of Spoken. There we go, that looks a lot better. Or, I mean, what are these called? Planks? Yeah. So we now have two rows of planks that are approximately, or actually, exactly one armor piece wide. And now we can take some armor, and yes, I'll be using Mavlar, but if you want, you can use gold or what any of the, of the other thin armors, it doesn't really matter. Oop, open up windows. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and just go down here, and I'm going to place them so that they exactly cover the top. Next, we're going to take the small armor bit, and we're going to rotate it, press Y twice, and just cover the sides. Now that we have that done, before we can put armor on the back, we actually have to compress all of this wood, or we're not going to float. And so for that, I've got an auto clicker. It's set to click 100 times every, or one time every 50 milliseconds, so 100 times, and it's pretty quick. Um, if you guys don't have an auto clicker, you can just click with your finger 100 times. But anyways, we're just going to do that here. So press Y twice, and then click away. And then boom, we'll do that over here. And we can go ahead and move and remove this one up here. Now for the back, we're only gonna compress a couple times. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. That's gonna give us seven in the back here because three plus three is six plus the one that was already there. Now we can actually finish armoring up the wood. And because of the inherent design of this being a box, we don't actually have to worry about putting armor on the insides here. So to get started with the basic shape of our sub, we're gonna go ahead and place wood, or sorry, armor like this. And then we'll follow it up with an armor piece right up here in the front at exactly the same spot. Now, we can press Y, T, Y, and here in the back, we're just gonna place one piece of armor, and then up here in the front, we're just gonna keep going back. Now that we've that, got that done, you can tell the basic shape of the ship is already formed. We've got that kind of peephole through the sides, and even if cannonballs do get through there, they're not gonna do much damage. Now, Ooh, that's a bit of lag. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and press one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, right up here. And this is gonna help protect our seat and ourselves. Oh, next, we can go ahead, do two right there, delete these. Don't worry, we will be putting them back. It's just temporary. Now we can place down our Mark 1 pilot seat, and before we get it down there, we're gonna rotate it and then press Y once. Then we can place it. Yep, looks to be in the center. Then we're gonna place our cannons, so rotate them like that. Press control once to go back into precision mode. And oh, let me sell the other boat real quick. Bye bye. Anyways, we'll go ahead and place just like this. And then we'll take a piece of armor. It can be any square. And we'll just be placing it on the back here. So once we have it like that, we're going to go up to the front using rotation. Uh, that's trippy. One, two, three, four. One, oh. One, two, three, four. Now, something important up here with these cannons, they don't have to be this close together, um, you know, from the sides of the seat. You can have them closer together. It doesn't really matter that much, as long as they're evenly spaced out. And as you can see, that wasn't spaced out perfectly. So we're just going to redo that. Now 
now we can hopefully have our cannons evened out. Boom, looks much better. Now we can go back to our armor, get it rotated just like this, not place it right there, but we're gonna go back twice. So one and two, just leave the one up front, and you see we just have a little tiny cutout for our cannons, just like the original, which you can see right here. And if you're wondering what this is, it's submarine in Japanese. Now, what we're going to do is go to structure, take a steel beam, and we're going to place it directly here. Not right there. We're going to press control once, and then we're going to go down under. That way, it, it shouldn't be popping out above this armor. If it's popping out of the armor, you need to go down a little bit, and you need to make sure that you're in medium precision mode or it's not going to work. As you can see, we pretty much have the same exact ship. I don't know why the count is different. It looks the exact same. I probably just stacked up armor somewhere. Anyways, this is the final product if you use this speed glitch like that, where you place the can or where you place the metal cabinet, and then you sit in your seat, and then you delete the metal cabinet, you're good to go. Anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you want to see more awesome tutorials like this, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're wondering how to do this, with the normal cannons. I will be making a tutorial all about that later this week. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.